Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. From this video, I am starting a new series on React Native with TypeScript for Firebase. Firebase is a cloud-based platform by Google for authentication purpose, for storage purpose, for so many activities we have. We have SQL Server, we have real time database there so it's very very useful for new beginners and for professionals also for making your application as a professional application so I'm starting this series and in this first video I'm going to explain you that how you can create a very much first application in react native with TypeScript in which I will stall or set up Firebase API or Firebase library in this video so let me start here so first of all just i create a new package npx react native in it and i say here react native firebase like this and press enter so it will create a new package new project in which we will work for firebase in react native with typescript so it will take a little bit of time now you see project is created now we go to this directory react native firebase and here i start this application so i say npx then react native run android and we open this here the app.tsx file now you see that first time we are executing this application and this application is in react native so right now we do not have any configuration regarding firebase in this application we have to make setup for this we have to install library so first of all we make configuration first of all just i make one configuration here and i remove the unnecessary things which is not required for my application so for that uh, uh, i remove the unnecessary things like uh, i remove these sections no need of this component here no need of this component now i remove uh, remove these header no need of these things and i remove these styles also then i remove these background style we have and uh, dark is mode so that we are using i remove these also no need of this i remove these library also no need of this also I remove this also and I remove this library also save this now what I need I need some configuration like uh, I need to create my component that I will use for this here in this project I create a directory I say component under this I create one more directory so I say YouTube under this I create uh, my component file I say auth firebase dot tsx and here i say rnfes so dummy data right now i'm creating and i use this here under the scroll view so here i say auth save this now you see that we have created our component for firebase configuration and i have used this also i have called it here in my app component now i have to close this because i have to install the firebase library and i have to configure this then once again i will start this application with firebase configuration so i close this now i open the browser here i write here react native firebase and it will reach to the first website here this is rnfirebase.io here we have the installation mechanism how we can install this so i have npm so i copy this line first of all firebase app library i have to install so i go there and paste here so it will install it will install firebase library by using npm in my application and remember that this is not only a single step we have to configure the application as per the instructions given so what are the instructions we follow one by one so now we have to open build.gradle file remember that on root label and i have to copy this here this i have to install in this so i open again once again and here library has been installed so i go to android 
and at root label I have this build dot cradle and here I need to use this go there and at the last I paste this and save this so one configuration we have completed Google services here now second step it's saying that we have to go under the app directory build dot gradle and there I have to copy this plugin so I open once again now I close this build file I have to go into the app directory here we have once more build dot gradle file and in this file at the top I have to install this plugin so here I just paste and save this remember now we go to next steps this is for iOS if you have an Apple system then you configure according to this as is mentioned here then after that at the end we have to restart the application remember that this application we have to restart for Firebase so again I try to restart and I need to close this the previous application and I restart this application once more if successfully we will execute this application that means we have set up the firebase and we have installed the library of firebase and we will see the output auth firebase here at the top of the screen that will show that we have successfully installed and set up this for firebase you see that after this configuration also we are not able to execute this program why because we have to link a firebase project also with this application that we have not configured right now so it's not executing you see that one step we have missed here so intentionally i left this step this is the step which i left here so in this step you see that what we require we have this man android manifesto file where we have a project so that project we have to link with the firebase and we have to pass SHA1, SHA, these report we have to pass and we have to copy Google service.json file in the app directory under the Android folder. Then it will link with the Firebase and this library will work. This library will work. So this is the most important part of configuration also. So what we have to do for this? So first of all, uh, we go to browser once again. Here I open the Google and here I say, uh, firebase console and I click here and I log in you see now we have to create a new project or you can use existing project so I am explaining you from the beginning so just click here add project and here give the name of the project so I give here uh, firebase react native like this now we say continue here it want that you want to use analytics or not we just say yes okay then it want uh, this account which we link we say default account for firebase then create project it will take little bit of time now you see project is ready click on continue button and it will show you that uh, you want to connect with what mechanism by web or by android so we are using react native so i click on android remember that if you are using react native with cli then we have to click on android if you are using react native with expo then you will click on web so i am using react native with cli so click on android and it will show the steps here we have to uh, pass the package which is used here so for that i go to the app directory under the app we have a source directory under the source we have main then java then we have main activity so under this you see we have a package name so this package name i need to copy now i just close this application no need so i copy this and i paste this application here the package name here we can give any name so i say firebase firebase react native or we can say firebase login any name optional and it required sha that is the most important part which linking and signing facility it will available only by this process so for that you see if you go to the previous page here they have shown that we have to go to the android folder then we have to generate this file gradle gradle w 
signing report so what i need i need uh, to go to the directory here android you see under this i say gradle press enter and you will see that it will execute command and slice the project and it will generate sha1 key for from my project so you see we have a sha one key so i copy this key from my project but most important then i need to pass this key here also paste this then i say register this application so it will register this with my application reason auth client already exists in different project or project name because the project name is same uh, already i have registered this in my previous application so that is the problem so what i do now so i have to remove my project previous project i have to remove so once again i open this here sometime it happen so i say firebase console and i click once again and i have my project already in which i have installed the same project that is react native firebase so i open this now and uh, i uh, open this uh, from here configuration project setting so at the last you see i have linked this project with this so i can remove this project permanently i want to remove and i can remove delete this project also no need of this project so disable all because i have to use i can't change the package name that i have used here already so i remove this project now already i have this project so i once again i try to execute this register it so i refresh it once again so i go to the project setting here we have the same step because on that time we were not able to register you see i have registered already because of that way i click here and my application is already registered here from this step so you will click because your project name would be different my project name is just by co incident is same that's why generating error but when i delete my project you see i delete this project from here now i have all linked this project this project is linking here you see i have the link with this same id same application firebase login i have given the name remember the same package so already is link because of that step so we can confirm that my project is linking here right now and we have to download this file google service.json that is most important file that i have to download this file now i open this and you just cut this file from here remember that this file can come from here also or when you will go ahead on that step then you will have this file or next after registration just you will have this file so google service.json is the most important file you have to download this file and in the uh, app directory of your folder in this folder you have to copy this file so i open this in explorer and under this app directory here i paste this file because it required then i close this so we have done the configuration part of this now i try to execute this program once again so next last time it failed to execute now it will execute but we have to get out from the android directory we have to go to the root directory of this project now i have to run my application once again you see now successfully we are able to execute this auth firebase this output is coming that means we have set up successfully firebase library and we have link over project with this firebase project you see this project is successfully login now we have to link the authentication library in this auth library this library authentication library i will click on this so this library i have to install in this for authentication purpose of mail and password so in next video we will see how to link this authentication library with this application and in this uh, and in this uh, video i explain you from the beginning that how you can link 
with your Firebase library, with your project of React Native with TypeScript, successfully we have implemented and followed all the steps for this. I think you learn now how to configure a React Native application with the Firebase. If you learn it, if you learn something new from this video, please promote my video, like it, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.